Freestyle. All right, where do we start? I am Sibo Walker. Full name is Sebastian Walker, one of my secrets. I'm from Salem, Oregon. I am a professional skateboarder and an artist and a new dad. And I get to be the guest artist for this launch. Yeah, growing up in Salem, I basically was the youngest of three boys. At some point, my brother started skating, and so I copied them and tried to be better than them, just like I did it, you know, for everything. And it was just the one thing that really hooked me. I felt very much connected to activities and creative things that didn't necessarily have rules or a coach or like right or wrong. And so skateboarding and art have always been those two kind of things that really kept me inspired and sort of inspired each other. I have always been pretty artistic. My parents really encouraged it growing up, which was pretty cool. My mom was definitely the early inspiration for painting and she did stained glass pieces. And so that was really cool for me to be exposed to that. And she just, I remember vividly, her just encouraging me to like, just pick up a pen and paper and just kind of go at it and see what I come up with. Like my first little piece, I remember it was a bookmark and I painted it just a ton of different colors. And she, you know, was like, that's so cool, honey. You're gonna keep making stuff like that. And I remember that being very vivid in my head um, to be like, whoa, I had a, a lot of fun painting that. I should keep at it. But MC Escher was definitely a big inspiration of mine. The first actual artist that I just like was blown away by. As my artwork progressed, I got really into Keith Haring and like the simplicity of line work and colors. Gons is obviously a big inspiration, so being a part of Crooked and seeing his art and having my pro models have his art, yeah, it's just like, it's a trip, definitely. I feel super lucky. All the while I was like painting on grip tape a lot and kept that kind of going. So every new skateboard was a new piece of artwork. When I went to LA and I started painting on grip tape for kids, that was awesome because that kept me busy every morning. I had this idea to make an Instagram and, and do specific custom grip for kids. And then I was able to have these really cool connections where the grip tape was something really meaningful or somebody that had passed away or a specific story or a, something that really meant a lot to them. Um, every single time it was this very different project for me and that really helped me stick with it because without that I think I could have easily lost the passion for doing art, you know, just because I was so hyper focused on trying to become a professional skateboarder and then it eventually evolved to canvas work and then somebody offered like a mural job to paint a coffee shop and so it kind of just grew and grew and at some point I realized like, oh, you know, I can paint my own project. Now I'm at a kind of spot where I've painted like 30 murals and I do a lot of canvas work and try to have art shows and it's just like, it's kind of grown from there. And the pieces behind me is kind of a representation of how I've navigated life over the last decade or two in skateboarding and art in terms of being just a freestyle. And you can see there's some faces, some skateboarding, some wheels, some skateboards, some legs pushing. I'm all, I don't necessarily even see it in my mind. I just feel it in my hand, I guess you could say, but it's all kind of coming from a place of movement. It's supposed to kind of encourage the idea of skating with your friends, pushing down the street. That feeling that we all know is like euphoric and there's no feeling like it. And that's it.